YouTube family, is it true? Is this my first track workout in a decade, in 10 years? It's true. After taking time off after college, rediscovering running through ultra running and trail running and mountain running about five years ago, I wasn't doing any track workouts for that. Well, now, getting ready for the marathon, I know, I know, if I want to run fast, I need to get my leg turnover going, and yes, go a little anaerobic. Uh, so today, today is just a baby, just a baby, baby workout. I don't want to, uh, sorry if I disappoint you. Uh, it's, it's as far as like, this is not, I'm not going to go out and do a 10, 10 by 1K uh, interval workout for my first track workout in 10 years. This is just baby, baby stuff. I'll explain what uh, I'm going to do here in a little bit. I'm going to go do a three mile warm up. Uh, yes, I'm going to do the warm up in the Zantes from New Balance. And then I'm actually just going to do uh, the, the, the interval workout in the Zantes as well, just so I don't have to change shoes I can just kind of go right into it and uh, this track I'm at in Denver Colorado all the tracks here are locked up it's really sad like I, you can't get onto a high school track anymore in up in my hometown it was no problem but anyway this is a dirt track I'm okay with it I'm okay like a little extra effort a little more difficult in the let you know difficulty in the legs because it's not a mondo track or a, a rubber track uh, so I'm okay so I'm gonna take the Zante fours out for this workout and then switch into a middle distance run in the zoom fly fly knit a lot of people continue to ask me about this shoe so stay tuned for that but uh, all right let's lace up and yes, first track workout in 10 years, baby track workout in 10 years. Oh man, this is fun, this is crazy. There we go, all right. I will just say I did eight reps, eight reps. I'll get you the splits back of the studio. I gotta transition real quick so I can't mess around into the zoom flies for the middle distance run. Tip of the day, if you're doing uh, multiple uh, types of training in one session, like I am today, basically you don't wanna, you don't wanna stand around and like sit down. You don't wanna tighten up is the, is the bottom line. So I gotta transition quick. And I love ya, I love ya, 10 years. That was, that was fun. I must say, it was actually pretty fun.
And there you have it, introducing some lifting into the uh, gym session today. The first time in this training block, and we're three months in, where I began to add some external weights, uh, not just doing uh, body, body weight squats, but actually using um, some, some weight. And uh, along with the, the bench press, uh, the free weights there. So anyway, it's exciting. That means we're moving in the right direction toward Cleveland. So all right, it's Friday night. Come on now. Gotta get some pizza. Gotta get some pizza for the family. Papa John's, where you at? Where you at? There it is, there it is. Gone, baby, gone. That pizza is gone. Oh, so tasty. Okay, the next running shoe giveaway. Mark your calendars, note the time, Monday. So in two days from now, Monday, April 1st at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. But there is gonna be a new rule in place. You can only give one size, only one size in the giveaway. Basically, what we do if you're a new subscriber, we do a running shoe giveaway about, uh, we'll see, about once a month. I can guarantee you we're gonna send out at least 10 pairs of running shoes at this giveaway. Some of the shoes are brand new, some of the shoes are gently used, and it's all variation uh, as far as sizes go. So in the giveaway, you gotta arrive on time and then uh, basically put your name in the hat. I'll explain live 7 p.m. Mountain Time, Monday, April 1st, how it's all gonna go down, but you can only put one size down. You can't do a range of sizes, if that makes sense. Okay, so you gotta think about what is my shoe size or go to a running shoe store and and yes, today a pair of shoes arrived at the P.O. Box, 1972. I'm gonna open them up right now, and this pair, whatever's in this box, is gonna be the first pair of shoes we give away at uh, Monday, a April 1st at 7 p.m. <laughs> Here we go, 7 p.m. Mountain Time. What is inside? Oh, baby, oh, yeah. All right, so these are size. Hold on. Let's, I'll just tell you this much. They're big. All right, pretty big. Size 11, Hoka Clifton 5. They basically look brand new. I mean, they look real fresh, real fresh. Let's see. They have 27 kilometers, 15 miles, 16 miles. That's what I'm talking about. Shout out to Ben for sending these Hoka Clifton 5s. These will be the first shoes that we give away on Monday, April 1st, 7 p.m. Spread the word. Let's get a good crowd there. Again, at least 10 running shoes are going to be given away. Okay, moving on to today's track session. The first track session in 10 years. Oh my goodness. I graduated from college in 2009. It's now 2019. Yes, it has been 10 years. Listen, I, I don't mind the track. It's not my first love when it comes to running, but I haven't, it's not like I, it's, I don't go to the track for fun. Some people love going to the track and just getting laps in. It's just not my thing. But I see the importance of doing track workouts, working on calculated speed, working on anaerobic uh, development, Moving on to today's workouts, the details and the purpose behind going to the track for the first time in a decade. First of all, Strava, could you help me out? When, I don't know if anyone else runs into this uh, predicament, basically more often than not, it seems like lately, I'm splitting up my run with different shoes because today I did a middle distance run after the track session in the Zoom Fly Fly Knit um, and the, but I did the actual track workout in the New Balance Zante 4. So I have to, I decided to give all of the mileage from today to the Zoom Fly. You know how you can assign uh, your shoe to a workout so that you can track the mileage that you're putting into your shoes. Well, I'm just wondering Strava, could you create a feature where you could split up mileage between different shoes? Like I did, I basically I did five miles in this guy and 15 in this guy. Anyway, just putting that out there. If anybody works for Strava that, uh, that is watching this vlog, I would appreciate it. Okay, moving on to today's workout. Here we go. Three mile warm up, eight, so eight by 400 meter repeats with a one minute jog recovery in between each repetition. And the goal pace was 75 seconds uh, per, per quarter. And so here are the splits for you right now. 76, 74, 75, 73, 
seconds, I should, I should clarify, 75, 75, 73, and that was the one I got chased by the dog, and then 74 for the last quarter. And essentially, ladies and gentlemen, uh, felt great, felt pretty relaxed. Um, I was starting to breathe a little bit on the 7th or 8th one, just a little bit. I was basically fully recovered after a minute, so that's a good sign. And my goal pace for the marathon is 520 per mile for 26 miles. That's, that's, that's what I'm like trying to calculate and figure out with all of this uh, threshold running and long, long runs and going to the mountains and now on the track. And um, basically... I went for 75 seconds because if you, for, for each quarter, because if you do the math, that is five minute flat pace, all right? And so I'm gonna give a shout out to Fred. Thank you, Fred, for the gentle reminder on, I think it was Strava or YouTube a couple days ago, but basically he said, like, Seth, you should, you should definitely do some workouts where you're going faster than 520 pace um, he didn't put it in exactly those words, but do some workouts where you're going faster than 520 pace because that way you're getting your legs ready to go faster, but then 515 pace and 520 pace is going to feel better. Not easy, but just better. It's not going to be a shock to the system when the gun goes off. So anyway, that was the idea behind today's introductory uh, I don't want to call it a baby session, like it was a good little session. It wasn't like a walk in the park, it was just a good solid welcome back to the track after a decade of running in the mountains, if you know what I mean. And uh, oh man, that dirt, the dirt was nice. It was just nice and it was soft and I must say the Zantes, they crushed it in the dirt. Like it, it just was a nice ride over that dirt today. One to go. Just got chased by that dog. And real quick, as a as a reminder, but many of you already know this, we are naturally uh, and genetically born with fast twitch muscle fibers and slow twitch muscle fibers. The fast twitch ones are white inside of our legs and the slow twitch ones are red. I'm pretty confident that I have a bundle of red slow twitch muscle fibers built into my legs. I just have never been one to outkick anybody like I just that's always been a little bit of my weakness so it's just really good to know your your weaknesses so you can work on them on the tracks and just a quick reminder between aerobic running and anaerobic running today's goal was not to go anaerobic um, and I think I accomplished that pretty well I was breathing at the end for sure but that one minute rest was was just spot on so aerobic running is where you're able to bring in enough oxygen over a given minute um, and it's transferred to your muscles and basically your 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 legs are not starting to scream at you uh, that is staying within our aerobic uh, state Whereas anaerobic running is where you're running out of oxygen, you're not able to bring in enough oxygen through your, you know, through your lungs and then get it transferred out into your, through your, your red blood cells and transferred out into your muscles fast enough. And that's where the lactic acid begins to build up in your legs and you start to burn a little bit. So I think, yeah, I definitely did not go anaerobic today. So that was good. And um, it will happen eventually in this training block, but it's too early. Again, we're still seven weeks out from the marathon. So that will happen soon. And on that topic of aerobic versus anaerobic, I have been pretty patient with building my aerobic engine over the last, gosh, almost three months now since January 1st. So patience is key. Same with anaerobic development. You don't want to go out like today. It would have been fun to go do like six by one K, but that would have been too much for my first track session in 10 years, all right? You want to build the volume of your um, of your repeats or the total mileage covered within an interval session and also the intensity. So they both go up slowly. So for me, it's going to be basically the next four to five weeks of slowly increasing the volume of the repetitions and the intensity. So eventually working up to... Oh man, oh, I don't know if I want to throw out a number. I'm probably going to dabble with 12 by 1K, maybe 10 by 1 mile. We'll see. We will see. I'm still I'm still trying to figure that out. But um, anyway, so 
it's just like the aerobic development and your anaerobic develop. It's it's a it's a gentle uh, introduction into your training cycle. You just can't go out and blast you know eight by uh, yeah eight by one k with you know ninety seconds rest or two minutes rest. So in conclusion, it was a fun day. It was probably fun because I wasn't that painful. I know it's gonna hurt eventually, but um, it was just fun. It was a good time out there. Good to feel the track again. Just feel the that rotation a little bit and that speed a little bit. So I'm excited. Okay. Keyword is track and question of the day. How often do you go to the track? That's the first option. Second option, how long has it been since you've been to a track? Can anybody beat my record of 10 years? All right. Anybody out there? Uh, so that is, those are the questions of the day. You have two options there. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. That is the, uh, that is the introduction. And gosh, it's like honesty. We're just trying to be honest to the task at hand and stay true to what I know needs to happen in order to not shy away from the pain of going into the pain cave for the marathon to do it at a fast, fast clip. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. By the way, second video publishing today, I'm going to talk about the You Can, you can Hydrate Mix, uh, which I'm, I've been testing out for the last uh, almost two weeks now, just giving it a go to see if this might be an option for, part of the option for the marathon hydration strategy. So that'll publish at 3 p.m. today. Oh yeah, don't forget. Oh man, see you Monday, April 1st, 7 p.m. Mark your calendar, spread the word. Oh, baby.